Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And I got some mist tints from Sherwin Williams last time I went, one of the only places that still had some mist tints left. And there's this color called Showstopper. <laughs> it's a Showstopper. Let me show you. I've mixed it with some GAC 800. Look at that. It's this really fun pinkish red color. So I've been thinking, wow, what an intensely fun color. And what could I do with that? And I think I'm going to keep it simple and just do black and white only. So I've mixed up some Josonia Carbon Black, some Josonia Titanium White, some Artist Loft Metallic Black, and some Josonia Pearlescent White. And then I have black and white cell activator. And we'll just see what happens. I'm not sure if I want to do a white down first so it gets kind of pink. Um, and that could be fun. Or if I want to do black down first and try and keep it black and white. So, since I'm not sure, I've got some little tiles, four-inch tiles, and I'm going to do a couple practice blooms. And someone asked me on a YouTube video, how do you keep your... Um, paintings on the turntable without them flying off and I just get a piece of painters tape put it to the bottom either on the edge of the frame um, or the bottom of the tile and that'll just that's it it's easy enough to lift off but it's going to stay in place when I spin it so you can see I've got a couple of old pieces of painters tape there so that's what I'm going to do and uh, let's have some fun now oops that's a really, really, really full container, so um, I'm going to pour some into a cup. Uh, again, I mix my pillow paints with Sherwin -William, the Sherwin-Williams color to go with some GAC 800. And that helps, by Golden, that helps with um, the drying process. So that's kind of that fun reddish pink. And... Okay, let's see what happens. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to put down just my titanium white first and make a puddle and just every other color. So I'll put down my titanium white. And then I'll put down my metallic black. I do like my paints mixed a little bit on the thicker side. So let's see how that works. I feel like I probably need to thin them out a little for the swipes, but I haven't taken that step yet. This is the pearl white. And then I'm going to just put the carbon black on top. This is my pouring medium, not the cell activator. So I didn't really want a metallic on the top. So I feel like I'll get a crisper line with the solid color. So that was black. So I'm going to do some white cell activator, followed up by some black cell activator. White. And black. And now let's blow. I am not a very good bloom blower. I always pick it up and blow across if I don't use a tool. So. I just dipped my chin in it. <laughs> I can feel it. Let me wipe that off. And now I'm going to wait a minute for the um, puddle to come back up underneath that. Get it off my chin. I 
Okay, so that was the white pillow first. And let's just spin it a little. Now I've got some kind of cool, I think I'll have some cool 3D effects. I'm going to tilt it a little bit this way before I start spinning. Just going to help that over the edge. I don't know that I even want to keep spinning because I kind of like this little corner here without anything on it. Okay, so showstopper with the white down first creates a pretty fun effect. Uh, let me get a little spatula here. Here's my little spatula. Oh, here it is. Looking it straight in the face. Just lift this off. And we'll come in for, oops, let me just cover that little corner there. Make sure all the corners are covered. They are. Okay. It's kind of fun. All right. So, first test subject is complete. Now I want to try and put down the black first and see what kind of a different result we get, if any. So I'm going to put this little piece of tape back on the back, pop it down. Showstopper. Um, I just moved that. I hope I didn't move you. Let me just go make sure that you're still in frame. I mean, I think you would be, but I don't know. I'm going to just be right back. Just going to come around this side and take a look. Okay, you can totally, I'm totally still afraid. Okay, so this time we're going to start with black. Okay. So I'm going to start with some carbon black down first. And then I'll do my two metallics in the middle. So my pearlescent white. Now the pearlescent metallic black. Now the titanium white. And then we'll do black and white cell activator. My rule when doing, or my guideline I should say, is that I want my puddle and cell activator by the time I lay it out to cover up about a third of the area. So from looking at this one, 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 that's about a third of the area it has paint on it. Okay, let's blow again with my blowing across it since I can't blow down on it. Leave it at that. Give it a second. Since I'm not wiping paint off my chin, let this come back up. I usually look to see, I can get down and I can see if there's still a divot or an ending in the paint. And what I want is for it to be level so I know that the pillows come back up underneath it. And that's pretty close, not exactly perfect, but 
The other thing you can do is tilt a little and see if everything's moving in unison. Like my middle's not quite moving yet. But now I think it's pretty close. So I'm going to give it a spin. <laughs> I keep on... Uh, I've been doing a lot of negative space stuff and I just keep getting it now. I wasn't even trying to get negative space, but again, I kind of like this. So I'm just going to pull this out over the edge. Ooh, crying out loud, you could go a little bit more that way. I think I definitely like this result better though. So the showstopper shows through. But um, I kind of like this charcoal -y gray type color I've got going on. One more spin. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to, a couple big bubbles I'm just going to pop real quick. Okay, so I like this one better than the other one. As far as the colors go, I think that the lacing looks more, I don't know, cool. <laughs> um, and that showstopper, I don't know, crimson, shows through, but my lacing didn't turn pink. It's this kind of gray colored lacing. So I think it looks cool. It looks more 3D. both nice. All right, and now I want to try one more thing. So I don't, let me get my tape. So I'm just experimenting. The showstopper's got plenty of color on its own, so I didn't feel I needed to add a lot of colors, just black and white. Now let's try it and a little bit of a negative space swipe on this little tiny tile. <laughs> I'm usually doing it on big, bigger pieces and also, um, like I like, I feel like it's easier for me to do a composition of a rectangle, but I have been kind of digging the puddle into a swipe, but let's see what happens if I just um, let's see. I like the black down first. I put, I put way too much pillow down, guys. So I'll we'll just kind of go like this. That's, oh my gosh, this is going to be too much paint. i tell you right now, because negative space, you just really don't even want much. And I already put a ton down of that black. <laughs> but you just need so much less paint. Okay, and now I'm just going to do probably just a black cell activator. Or maybe I'll do a spin. Let's try this. No, that didn't work. I don't like that at all. So let's do some, let's just take that around the color. Go back this way with it now. Okay. And get a much smaller tool. Okay, so I just have this. Let's see if I can make something out of nothing. All the negative space is already gone, so probably not. And we'll swipe one more time. 
and the other direction over apparently non-existent colors. <laughs> Let's see. Tiny space. And let's see, I don't really like that. There's a lot of paint on this. A lot, a lot, a lot. Way too much for a negative space. And let's spin. Didn't see much I liked about it before I spun it, so I don't think I'll see much I like about it now. <laughs> I'm just having trouble getting paint over that last corner, no matter the corner. Well, that did not work. I do feel like a negative space swipe in this would be fun. So why don't I get a little bit bigger one and have some fun with that and see what happens. I mean, this was just kind of a hot mess from the beginning, this one, so it's not very pleasing <laughs> to look at. So I'm just gonna put it aside. And this is probably a long enough video now where you don't want to watch me do a negative space swipe. So this is probably just for kicks and giggles for me. Let's see though. At this point, if you're still with me, let's just go for it. I have a nine by 12. So I'm going to try and do a negative space swipe on this one. Well, I feel like there was a clump of something in that, so I want to fish that out. Mm -hmm. I can see a clump right there. Okay. And I don't want that causing any problems. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, a <laughs> big clump of paint. That would not have swiped or spun evenly. No siree. <gasps> I spilled some of my paint. Oh no. All right, let me try and scoop some of this back into my little cup. Spill it right over onto its side. My metallic bat black, which is this beautiful charcoal gray. All right. That's a bummer. Toby, stop. Stop your growling, puppy. The other dog's allowed in here. He's allowed. <laughs> okay. So let's start here. I don't want to go too long, so, you know, I'll even do like a little Kind of a fun shape. Stop, stop dripping paint. I don't want too much. Pearl White. You're up, Pearl. Sup. Metallic Black. What I scraped back into my little thing. Um, titanium white. Okay. 
Now, I will take my same little tool, this guy right here, and I'm going to put some black on him. Fairly thin layer of black. And I'm going to start right in the middle. I guess I could do white on the other half. Let's see. Fairly thin layer of white. Definitely like the black better, that's for sure. Um, so I'm also gonna get it's your Toby, baby. My little guy here. And put a little bit. So all I'm doing is I'm just swiping a little bit of the cell activator on that and then like scraping it to kind of thin. Um, I'm not real happy with this center area, so let me just come on in there. And I was thinking about coming in on this little S. Well, maybe I will. But I'm just going to put a tiny bit right on the tip of it and see if I can't come this way. Now for a little bit of fine tuning. Um, I think I'll actually and then right here do the same kind of thing, just a little bit of zhuzhing. Kind of like how this comes out but it ends in kind of a weird design so I think I'd rather have it instead of and then I like all of this kind of fun black detail over there so I don't think I'll do too much with that let's just spin right now and then see how it looks and then we'll judge more I'm not going to spin too fast for starters I just want to see what we get. Okay, and tell you right now, I don't like that. So I'm coming right back in. With some black. I know there's there's not a lot of color or anything under there, but I'm gonna just grab it like so. Oops, well that didn't work well. I was very unsteady with my hand. <laughs> very unsteady. All right. Okay, I feel like that has fixed that little area. 
Um, but I, I like that okay. A little more of a spin, but I think I want to go down this way a little bit. I would like to see it open up a little bit, but I don't want to necessarily lose all of this off the end. But I mean, that could happen. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I want to do any more. I actually have my top and bottom, which I usually don't. I usually spread it out way too long. Um, I wouldn't have minded it going out a little. This way, so I'm just going to tip it a little and see. trying to get those middle ones opening up a little bit more. But it's not all moving it the same. So I think I'll just keep it in the middle. I was thinking it might be fun to, but I think I'll just keep it like that. I think that looks kind of cool. So I'll bring you down for a close up. Um, if you watched me through all of this, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I just knew I was going to do black and white with that uh, showstopper color. Everything always dries darker, so it'll be interesting to see how this red color dries. It's kind of a pinky, pinky, like a pinkish tone red, or I don't know. All right, so here's my nine by 12. And at the top, so I just did my skewer before I started spinning and just added a few little details right there. Um, and a lot of times I'll do that after I have already spun. And this time I tried it before. I've not tried that before. So I just was wondering how it would stretch out. I think I probably like it better after the fact, to be honest. I do love this kind of, ugh, like that black on the outside next to that red looks pretty cool. And I like this little tendril up this way. I always end up looking like I have dragons or snakes or something and I kind of like so here it was my black cell activator was up here and I did white cell activator down here and then I did a little bit of black in between the two to kind of bridge that gap and I do like the white it stayed white it didn't turn pink there's a little bit of shimmer all throughout which is nice from mostly I say the pearlescent white is definitely giving me more shimmer there. A little bit of the pearlescent black, which is like a charcoal gray up here. So there's just a hint of shimmer for fun, you know. It's very, like, fantasy, I think, you know. So what do you think? Orientation one. Orientation two. Orientation three. Or orientation four. Which do you like? I think I like either one or four. I think one seems too obvious. I kind of like how, because we read from left to right, and I kind of like how it starts small and like the story grows as our eyes go across. And that's all. That's me being weird, but that's kind of the orientation I like and why. So if you watch me for this long kind of experiment and have fun, um, thanks for sticking with me. And um, until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. But also, um, if you're using this Sherwin-Williams as a um, pillow, um, I know they're out of the white. Uh, so I just had, um, I had them tint a lot of the colors that I would normally want, like some of the lighter ones, in the Ultra Deep base because they still had some of that. And then um, also, don't ever forget to ask for samples if they've got mist tints. Um, I picked up these mist tints. One time I went, I got them for free, like 12 of them. Another time I went, I had to pay $2 a piece. This time I went and got 12, and they were a quarter a piece. So I got 12 quarts of paint for $3, which is awesome. So don't forget to ask when you're in there if they've got any mist tints. And if you're lucky, 
you'll stumble upon them. Until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye now.